Hey everyone, back with another video and today we're going to talk about automotive flash photography and we're going to be using this uh, Flashpoint Explorer 600 um, and then also my Nikon D600 70-200mm f2.8 lens and then this is the remote trigger for the Flashpoint unit. So this will control everything uh, at the flash head remotely so we can change the um, flash power and everything like that from back at the camera and not having to go up to there. So to start out, we want to kind of get our position. So as you can see here, we have the car, we have a pretty good background. Um, the sun's actually starting to peek through the clouds so our exposure is probably gonna change a little bit. Um, but really what we wanna do with flash photography is we want to darken down the sky and then light the car to give a more dramatic dramatic look. So what we're going to do is we're going to under, underexpose the sky by probably two stops. Um, that way it brings that down. The problem if you underexpose that and you don't have a flash is the car is going to go completely dark and you'll see that in a couple of the test shots as we're getting set up. So that's kind of the theory behind that is we're going to over underexpose the scene intentionally. Then we're going to introduce light onto the car to uh, illuminate the car and bring attention to that subject. Um, the flash I'm going to be using, it's a bare bulb. It has a reflector or a it has a small reflector on it. So what it's going to do is it's going to, instead of the flash just coming out everywhere, it's going to direct it a little bit more forward. It's going to be a harsh light though. There's no, no modifier on the front of this. Um, the flash is battery powered, so there's no cords or anything like that. To actually turn it on, it has a little power button right here. And we are actually going to shoot in manual. So. Basically, we're just gonna take some test shots, see what it looks like, adjust the power up and down from the back of the camera. And because I only have one flash, um, that means that we're gonna have to layer multiple exposures in Photoshop. So this is gonna be a two-part video. First part is we'll be on site here, actually shooting the photos. I'll show you the settings that I use and the kind of light placement. Uh, the second one will be um, back in front of the computer editing the shots that we took. So uh, the first shot or the first flash setup, I think we want to illuminate the side of the car. So we're going to be in the back corner here. We'll probably place the flash about here, shining back into the car. And then we'll probably come into the car and then maybe front angle. But let's get started with that one. All right, so I got my base exposure in. So right now I am at, I'm at ISO 100. I'm at f8 and 1 500th of a second. And I'm zoomed about 85 millimeters. So in the readout, those settings are giving me exactly two stops under. So now let's go into our flash. And because it's so bright out here, let's just start at half power and see what that looks like. In here, you can see right here, we're on flash group A and we're at half power right now. So let's take a shot. So that's our first shot. So I think we're a little bit dark, so let's bump that up to full power. We'll set that. There we go, that's better. We got good highlights on the car. Let's move the flash, get some light into the wheels, and then we'll go into the front. So here's a shot for the back wheel. Good. The shot will be for the front wheel. We'll get one additional for the front side of the car. Good. Get one for the hood. And then the last would be for the grill. All 
All right, and those are our shots that we're gonna be taking. So we will continue this in video number two with the edit.